Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel, Joe Knows Adventure. And today we are in the port of call of Amsterdam. So let's get started. Well, good morning from Amsterdam. <laughs> Although today I am not going to Amsterdam. I am going to um, uh, where am I going? Volendam and Marken. They're little um, towns outside of Amsterdam. Um, not that I didn't want to go to Amsterdam, but there was uh, I wanted to see a little bit more of the outside areas instead of the city itself. So. Um, and I did a canal ride yesterday, so I feel like I got some of the canal ride in. But anyway, good morning. It is Thursday, and today's date is the 16th of May, 2024. And um, had a, a late night last night. I had a good show. I went to see it at 945, called the Million Dollar Quartet. So I will um, be sure to... Um, talk about that on yesterday's video that I'll release but meantime this is what I'm wearing today um, got a well let me go full length here I have um, this kind of a reddish blackish bluish top with the red capris and white tennis shoes and my jewelry touchstone jewelry oh why does it touchstone necklace touchstone bracelet touchstone oh, they're kind of turned around here let me get it right touchstone ring there's two rings there one is the birthstone and the other is just a kind of a ring there touchstone jewelry and touchstone wrap bracelet so, um, and then my normal left hand jewelry. <laughs> so, um, we dock at nine o'clock. It is um, a quarter to nine right now. And um, when you book an excursion, you can um, meet at different places. And sometimes you get off the ship and you meet the bus outside. Um, but today, um, I'm going to the theater and then, uh, they call the number on the ticket. And for instance, it tells you, the ticket tells you where I am and then it tells you where I'm going and I paid and where to meet. And if I was to meet outside on the gate it would say something here so I had to be down at the theater at 9 10 so I'm not eating breakfast this morning I think I'll go down into the um, uh, I'm at studio lounge and just grab a quick cup of coffee um, it, which is okay I I ate a lot yesterday so I'm good for food until lunchtime but anyway this is what the ticket looks like and um, so we meet downstairs. I book the my excursions um, before I even get on the ship, which you can do pretty much as your um, as you start booking your cruise. You can start putting in for your excursions. Any of the activities on the ship um, usually can't start booking that stuff like your dining um, and that. To about um, up to about 21 days before so get your excursions um, I didn't get some of my excursions I wanted to do early enough because um, you had to pay for them right then and so uh, some of the favorites that I put in there because it gives you all of them and you can mark them as favorites on the website and I marked mine as favorites but when I went to go book them they weren't available so it's a full ship and you know another other um, ships are in port but some of the excursions just weren't 
available. Like a lot of people couldn't go to Paris on uh, one excursions was canceled. And then, um, so they tried to get something else and everything else ended up getting booked up. So uh, some people just went on their own, which you could certainly do. Um, but sounds like yesterday, um, we were in uh, Par La Havre, Par not yesterday, for yesterday. But when we got off the bus yesterday to come back on the ship, um, to, uh, four people, four guys got escorted off. And so as they were leaving, one of the people behind me would just, I wouldn't have dared ask him, but she said, did you get kicked off? <laughs> so, and the guy answered, he said, no, we missed the ship in, uh, in La Havre. So that means he did not get back on the ship in time, he either did his excursion on his own, or he had a, another excursion that wasn't from the ship. And so they found their way here, but apparently they had to go to customs because you go France and now we were in Belgium yesterday. So, you know, so it really is risky to do things on your own unless you're right close to port. And um, you just have to be careful and mark your time and, and that. I mean, some of the trains coming from Paris, you don't, you don't manage your time. You're not getting back on the ship. So I don't know if that's what they did, but you just have to be careful. And, you know, and I, I kind of book, I book some uh, ship excursions and some um, through, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right anymore. One of the gals said I wasn't, I call it Viator, V as in Victor, I-A-T-O-R. And a um, very popular um, uh, cruise port, um, excursions you can use that in the states I mean all sorts of things that they use but um, you know they pretty much guarantee you I mean their business is on the line if they can't you know get you to the ship it's not some Joe Blow excursion company um, it's like a third party and I've used them several times I've never had any problems with getting back on the ship They're, they they if you if they for some reason miss the ship they get you to the next port so that's that's a good thing about them but i've never had to do that and i'm they're very trustworthy so anyway all right guys i'm talking talking i gotta get down to the theater but i'll take you along for the day and good morning so before i go downstairs this is the bridge camera and we're still coming into Amsterdam I don't know where we port but we're supposed to arrive at nine o'clock and uh, we're not quite there yet I don't know what the delay was out but it's a big city it's supposed to be rainy off and on today, <laughs> which seems to be the every day, but we've been lucky. It breaks and then it hasn't been bad at all. So we'll see how today goes. <music> Well, as it turned out, we were delayed coming into Amsterdam because when you're coming into Amsterdam, you're going through some um, locks, kind of like the Panama Canal kind of locks. And I guess there was a delay coming in because there was a backup of uh, ships and containers coming in. Even though we were about an hour and a half delayed getting into our port of call of Amsterdam, it gave me an opportunity not to feel so rushed to get down to the theater for my uh, excursion, but also gave me a chance to look out 
and watch as the ship came in. Finally, we docked and got the all clear to be able to get off the ship. And when I got off the ship, it was amazing to be welcomed by uh, a really neat little band. My first stop was Marken, which is a fishing village in the municipality of Waterland in the province of North Holland, Netherlands. It was until 1957 an island, and because of the characteristic wooden houses, it is now a tourist attraction. Because of the delay of getting into port, our shore excursion was also shortened. So our first visit here at Marken, um, because it is really a small village, but we were able to do a little bit of shopping and walking around and admire the wooden houses and hear a little bit about the history. Something I found very interesting was how they made this island of Marken accessible to the mainland. And they built a road across the water so that they could uh, have people be able to come and go in cars. And um, I thought that was very interesting. After a short visit in the village of Marken, our next stop was going to be Volendam. Volendam is a Dutch town on the Marketmeer Lake, northeast of Amsterdam. Like Marken, it is also known for its wooden houses and the old fishing boats in the harbor. As I walked along, I was reminded of a time when I lived in San Pedro, California. And in San Pedro, California, right now, is where the port of call is for cruise ships. But before the cruise ships would uh, harbor there, it was a place that had a fishing village like this, and it was a tourist attraction.
This was definitely a place for tourists. A lot of places here along the way you could purchase all sorts of souvenirs, especially wooden shoes. I could see that this would be a very neat place to come if the weather was a little bit better than it was the day that we were there. It was windy and a little bit chilly for me. Besides wooden shoes, you can certainly buy some tulip bulbs for a very good price. One of the things our tour guide said that we should all try in one of these fish market kiosks here is smoked eel, but I didn't think I wanted to try that. I just wasn't that brave. So as I walked along, I discovered a little restaurant that I was going to eat at, but first I wanted to go to the end of this whole strand here and then turn around and come back. This little strand just went on and on um, with hotels here and places to eat. I had about another hour, so I decided to turn around and go back to the restaurant that I had thought I would like to eat at. So having a beer and fish and chips was just the right thing before I had to head back. Good evening everybody from Amsterdam and had a great day um, in Volendam and Marken, which are two fishing villages just outside of um, Amsterdam. I chose this excursion because I wanted to see something a little different than a city. Um, I've never been to Amsterdam, but I did do the canals yesterday. So I thought, well, I, I just wanted to see something a little different. And so it was really a pleasant day. Uh, we, we were late getting into dock because of canal traffic. And um, that being said, it, it caused our excursion to be a little late. So less time for the four and a half hours that we were scheduled to do. Um, so we got the four and a half hours in, but it was Actually, it wasn't four and a half. It was more like three and a half. Yeah, by the time we got out there. Anyway, it was quick, but I got back on the ship um, a little after three, and then I took a quick nap. But now I'm on my way to go to dinner. I'm meeting my friends, Steve and Cindy, and we're gonna go to Teppanyaki tonight. So that'll be fun. But what I'm wearing tonight, and I'll turn this to full length, is um, this nice, it's attached tank with this jacket and some black slacks, my little silvery flip floppies. I have a gold watch on today 
normal jewelry on this hand. I've got touchstone jewelry on this hand. Um, this isn't touchstone, I forget where I got this. Somewhere, <laughs> but just, uh, just a little gold and silver. This is touchstone and these earrings, the sparkly gold type earrings. So um, already it's, I don't feel like I'm super dressed up, but um, it is something I brought and it's been cooler out. So without wearing my sweatshirt jacket, <laughs> I thought this would be okay to wear. So here we go to go get, get some teppanyaki, nothing else planned for the evening. Um, might hang out with those guys for a little bit. Um, maybe do a little gambling. I don't know. Um, it'll be fun, whatever we do. I think I want to watch the ship depart uh, from here. Um, I think they go over some locks to get over. So that would be interesting to show. So if I can do that, I will. All right, guys, time for dinner. After a very entertaining teppanyaki dinner, we decided that we needed to walk off a little bit of our teppanyaki dinner. And as our ship sailed away from Amsterdam, we took a walk along the deck, the waterfront, which is one of my favorite places to go. It was still pretty light out even though it was almost 9.30. So as the ship sailed away, I decided that I needed to hide a few of my cruise ducks that I had stashed in my purse. <laughs> Thank you. 
As we were sailing away, I was thinking that I did miss a little bit of Amsterdam, and I know that I will be going to Amsterdam again on my next uh, cruise in September of 2024, and that's the cruise from Iceland down to London, and I hit Amsterdam again, so I'll probably do something a little different on that. Trying to be sneaky to hide a little duck can be a little tricky, but I got it done. After walking off my dinner, I joined Steve and Cindy for a tempting try of Sky Vodka Ice Bar. It cost $35 per person, and you were able to get a coupon that was good for two of their drinks once inside. But the guy that was handling the tickets named Kevin was so funny. He took my phone and he decided he was going to snap all these pictures. He had us laughing and just enjoying the moment, so here we go. <laughs> Boggy glasses, but I want to thank Kevin for a wonderful, wonderful time in the ice bar.
It was about 10.30 and we finally reached the Amsterdam locks. Steve and Cindy had a balcony, so we all stepped out on the balcony just to watch the ship go through. What an amazing way to end our night.
So that was a fun-filled day in Amsterdam, uh, going to the two fishing villages and then going to Teppanyaki for dinner and then also uh, just going to the ice bar, having a blast. It was so much fun. We, we really enjoyed um, the gentleman that, that was at the uh, little stand there. His name was Kevin. And um, they give you, like most people can stand be in there about 15 minutes, but you get two big drinks. And so uh, can't, can't beat that. So that was a lot of fun. If you have a chance to try that, that would be something to do. All right, so my next video will be released next week. It will be a sea day, day five, on this uh, cruise from London to Copenhagen. And um, so far, I've had a blast on this cruise, and I look forward to sharing the rest of the cruise with you all. Okay, and then from this cruise, I'm going right over to September, and in September, I will be going from London. Nope, I'm not going from London. I will be going from Iceland to London. And so I'm looking forward to uh, planning and sharing that cruise with you all as well. All right, so until then, I hope you're all having a great day, whatever you may be doing, and I hope you're being safe. Until then, love you all. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.